this is my final video and I'm gonna go over a few questions that I get the most common question is how is it legal why isn't it illegal to use Cody how is it legal to watch these shows and things that other services like Netflix and Amazon Prime charge you to watch and the answer is it's legal because what Cody does is direct you to service providers that don't charge for content. A perfect example is that last video where I showed you how you could go to YouTube and watch a show like the Bernie Mac show. But if you go to Amazon or Hulu or Netflix and try to watch that same show, they're going to charge you. So it's not illegal because you're not stealing any data you're not doing any illegal downloads you're not doing any illegal file sharing and you're not hacking into anything all you're doing is viewing content from a service provider that allows you to view it for free another question i get is how come some of the links don't work when people click on them why do i get errors and the reason behind that it's actually several reasons that could happen. It could be because you're in a location that they've chosen to restrict. For example, here in the U.S., we get sites like uh, ABC, NBC, Fox, USA, where you can go online and watch full episodes of TV shows. Now, that's fine if you're in the U.S., but if you're outside of the U.S. and you try to watch it won't let you watch it because you're not you're you're from with without outside of the US so sometimes a link won't work if it's one that block you based upon your location in some cases a link won't work because the server where the content is hosted might have a lot of traffic in some cases the link might not work because it's simply outdated and the app hasn't updated itself to reflect that the link no, no, no longer works. So in such cases, you could just try another link or use a different app. And some people ask, how come their home screen looks different? How come my apps don't look like this? And that's because this section at the bottom, which is called the shortcut section, is customizable. It doesn't come a certain way. I just chose to set mine up this way. Uh, if you want to get to other apps, all you have to do is click on add-ons and it'll show you all the apps that are available. So don't worry if you don't see a certain app on your home page. And of course, if you want to get more apps, you just click on where it says get more. And then you can just choose through a list. It's over 70 pages of different apps you can install. And to install it, you would just click on it and click install. And it will install. Another question I get is some of the apps don't work. For example, you might click on an app and an error message will pop up. And the reason behind that is because some of the apps are updated. So if an app is updated and you try to use a version that's no longer supported, then you'll get an error. Another reason you might get an error is because you need to register. For example, some apps pull content from sites where you have to register. Now that doesn't mean you have to pay, it just means that you have you have to have an account. For example, if you try to use Pandora, which is a free app, it won't work if you don't have your account information entered so that it can log into your account and pull up your radio stations. Let me get out of this. Another question people ask is, do I get my HBO, Showtime, 
or they say things like I gotta have oxygen or I gotta have ohm so I can watch my Tyler Perry and of course you've seen that we have live channels and we have all those channels but I tell people that um, we got to get out of the old ways of watching TV try not to focus on whether you have a certain channel when you could get on here and just watch the shows that you watch on those channels you don't have to watch power on Showtime you could come on here look it up in Genesis or Ice Films and watch it the same with all your shows you don't have to watch it when it's on live because when it's on live you have to deal with the commercials and you have to watch it at a certain time whereas if you come on here and do it and watch your shows you could uh, set your own schedule watch it when you're ready and every show is commercial free well I guess by now you can see the benefits of having a device like this you don't have recurring fees that you have with cable and satellite all you pay for is the cost of the device and after that you got access to pay-per-views to movies to TV shows documentaries you get over 50,000 radio stations you get everything that you would get from Netflix Redbox Hulu premium cable channels premium sports channels and that's it for now